To be great at basketball, you have to love the game and be really skilled. However, it also helps if you can jump out of the gym. Throughout NBA history, there have been many guys athletically able to do things that are beyond belief for ordinary humans. In this video, we'll go over the players with the highest vertical jumps of all time for those players who have official measurements. Shannon Brown, 44.5 inches. When you can impress Kobe with your athletic ability, you are definitely an above average leaper. Shannon Brown's vertical is 44.5 inches, and even though he was a role player throughout his career, his athletic prowess was breathtaking. Brown won two titles with the Lakers in 2009 and 2010, where he played the best basketball of his career. He also appeared in the 2010 dunk contest, but surprisingly, couldn't get past the first round. Zion Williamson, 45 inches. It's unreal that a 285 pound man that's built like a tank can jump as high as Zion can. Zion is like a Tesla Model X, an SUV that can win in a race against a sports car. With the 45 inch vertical, Williamson is one of the most athletic players in the NBA. Even as a rookie, he's one of the most physically most challenging guys to guard, and we've seen players simply bounce off his large body. At his time at Duke, he successfully completed a dunk from the free throw line leaving all GMs drooling to get the number one pick. Hopefully, he'll remain injury free so we can all enjoy the game of this physical marvel. Spud Webb, 46 inches. When you hear that the third shortest guy who ever played NBA basketball is also a slam dunk champion, you think, it can't be right. But in the case of Spud Webb, it is. Webb was not blessed with height, but he had hops and then some. His vertical was 46 inches, and it allowed him to play the game of Giants. Before the gravity did its thing, only for a little while, Spud was as tall as everybody else on the court. He will mostly be remembered for his time in Atlanta, where he achieved a feat that many thought it wasn't possible for him to achieve. The 1986 Slam Dunk Contest was the most memorable highlight of Webb's career, and the world was in shock when he defeated the 6'7 Dominique Wilkins with two perfect 50-point scores in the final round. Derek Jones Jr., 46 inches. In a somewhat controversial fashion, Derek Jones won the 2020 Slam Dunk Contest. Dwayne Wade has been a great playmaker his entire career, and it's fair to say that we can add one more assist to his total tally. Nevertheless, even though Aaron Gordon deserved to win, so did Derek Jones. His dunks were just as impressive, propelled by a 46-inch vertical leap. When Jones Jr. elevates, it really feels like he is gliding through the air. And it's not just for the show, as he is probably the best in-game dunker in the NBA today. He's not the most important guy for the Miami Heat, averaging 9 points per game, but he's certainly the most dazzling. Zach Levine, 46 inches. While many of today's NBA players can dunk, not everybody can really fly like Levine. When the photo of your slam dunks looks fake because it seems impossible that you could actually dunk from that far, then you know you got hops. Zach Levine is a proud owner of a 46-inch vertical jump and is widely regarded as one of the most athletic players of the new NBA generation. Zach won two slam dunk contests in 2015 and 16, and his dunk duel against Aaron Gordon was arguably the best slam dunk contest of all time. After he tore his ACL in 2017, it seemed like his jumping ability would be diminished, but he managed to return to his old athletic self. Levine added a reliable jump shot as well and is playing the best basketball of his career, averaging over 25 points per game for the Bulls this year. James White, 46 inches. James White did not have a stellar NBA career, appearing in only 67 games with the averages of 2.7 points in less than 9 minutes per game. He was more popular overseas than he was in the States, and his career story is that of a great dunker, not so much a great player. Nicknamed Flight, James White could really soar when he turned on the Jets. With the highest measured vertical of 46 inches, dunking was his specialty, and he was famous for various between-the-legs acrobatics. He appeared in many dunk contests in various leagues, including the 2013 NBA Dunk Contest as a member of the Knicks. He won an NBA championship with the Spurs in 2007, even though he didn't get a second of playing time in the playoffs. Jason Richardson, 46.5 inches. Jason Richardson was the fifth pick in the 2001 NBA Draft after a successful two-year stint for Michigan State University where he won the 2000 NCAA title. Drafted by the Warriors, Jay Rich dazzled with his scoring and exceptional athletic ability. With his 46.5-inch vertical, he was the most athletic player in the league in the early 2000s. Considering he played at the same time as Pete Carter, T-Mac, and Kobe, that is definitely something to be proud of. In the manner of Sean Kemp, Jay Rich was vicious 
to the rim, and his dunks made a regular appearance on the NBA Top 10. His out-of-this-world bounce helped him to win the 2002 and 2003 Slam Dunk Contest, and Jay Rich became the first player since Jordan to win it back-to-back. -back. Richardson was a part of We Believe Warriors and Seven Seconds or Less Sons before finishing his career in Orlando and Philadelphia. Dennis Smith Jr., 48 inches. Being able to jump really high is like winning a basketball lottery. It will often bail you out when your skills are not as developed. That could be a gift and a curse, as some players can rely on their athleticism too much and don't perfect other parts of their game. Dennis Smith Jr. is one of those players. He can jump like Michael Jordan and has the same 48-inch vertical as him, but he's far away from his airness. Smith's career has been relatively disappointing so far, and he's averaging only 5 points per game for the Knicks this season. Despite those springs in his legs, he doesn't look like a starting NBA point guard as of yet and will have to improve his skill to justify big expectations. Daryl Griffith, 48 inches. When we think about the NBA high flyers of the 80s, the first associations are Jordan, Dominique, and Dr. J. With the 48-inch vertical, Daryl Griffith's jumping ability was up to par or better than those players, even though his legacy is somewhat forgotten compared to them. Griffith was the best player for the University of Louisville that won the NCAA title in 1980. He won the Most Outstanding Player of the Final Four and the John Wooden Player of the Year Award. Utah Jazz selected him with the second pick in the NBA Draft, and Griffith was Rookie of the Year in 1981. His acrobatic jumping ability earned him the nickname Dr. Duncanstein, and together with Adrian Dantley, Griffith made one of the best scoring duos in the first half of the 80s. Apart from being a 20-point scorer and a great dunker, Griffith also led the league in three-point shooting for two years. However, two severe foot and knee injuries clipped his wings, and he wasn't Dr. Duncanstein no more. His production declined and Griffith was forced to retire at age 32. He played in Utah his entire career and his number is retired by the team. Michael Jordan, 48 inches. Michael Jordan was destined to be great at basketball. He had a perfect body for the sport and his 48 inch vertical and huge hands set him apart from everybody else. Exceptional leaping ability allowed MJ to make dunks from the free throw line and it seems that for him, the laws of gravity apply a bit less. Jordan was athletically miles away from every player of his era. While others were merely jumping, Jordan would take flight in his Air Jordans and remained airborne longer than any player we've seen before. Combined with his killer instinct and great basketball fundamentals, this created the narrative for Jordan to be the GOAT. A great example of Jordan's athletic supremacy is Larry Jordan, Michael's brother. Larry was 5'8 and was not a pro basketball player, but Larry could also be called Air Jordan because he had a 44-inch vertical and could dunk with ease. For example, Vince Carter's vertical is 43 inches, which tells you how genetically gifted Jordan was.